Hi, this is Tim Godby, Product Marketing Manager at Bolin Technology. In a previous video, I told you we would be showing you how to send PTZ control across a Dante AV network, and this is that video. I'm going to show you how to send serial or IP PTZ control and even infrared. I'm really eager to do this, so let's get right to it. Here's a diagram that explains very well how our KBD 1010 Universal Keyboard is able to send multiple PTZ controls across the same network system. Now we divide those into two categories, serial and IP. In the serial category, in the upper part of this diagram, we send RS-422, RS-485, and RS-232. Now among the serial are protocols. We have VSCA over RS-422 and RS-232, and we send PELCO, P and D, across RS-485. Now we move into the IP over the network, and we start with ONVIF. That will be very familiar to those in the security and situational awareness world and VSCA over IP. Now VSCA over IP may be the most common way to send PTZ control across a network. And then we have VSCA over IP across the Dante AV network, and that's what I get to show you today. And here is a diagram showing you what is in our Dante AV network today. We, as always, start with our Netgear M4250 PoE++ switch. It's sending PoE++ power to the Dante AV Ultra Gear, as well as PoE to our keyboards and our guest camera. More on that in a minute. We have our D220 Full HD Dante AV Native camera. It is sending its signal to the switch. The switch is then connected to our D20 transceiver. This is a decoder today. Out of the decoder is an HDMI cable coming to this HDMI monitor. I have two of our KBD 1010 keyboards. I'll explain why later. I have our guest camera. This is our flagship BC9 baseband camera. It is sending SDI out to our SDI monitor, and it has one additional cable that is for power and the network connection. And I have our infrared remote control, and I am really excited to show you what this can do across a Dante AV network. I told you I was excited to show you how an infrared remote control can be sent across the Dante AV network, and I am, but I also want to show you some what you're looking at now is how Dante Controller sees today's network. It's a pretty small network today, and the subscriptions are uh, nothing unusual except for two of them. That's what I want to point out. We have the RS-422 output of our D220 Dante AVD, AV Native camera subscribed to the serial input of our D20H decoder, and we have the serial output of the D20H subscribe to the RS-422 input of our D220. So communication each direction, and that's how the infrared signal will be transferred across our Dante AV network. Before I leave Dante Controller, let me point out one other important thing. You've probably already noticed it. What you're looking at is the device view of our D220 and a very important tab, Serial Configuration. I want to mention this because everything in here matters. Our keyboard is set up to send uh, Serial Control at 9600 baud. 9600 baud is what we have set here. So you'll want to check your baud rate, your data bits, parity, and stop bits, and make sure that all of them match. In this case, they do, and so this will work for us. Now earlier I mentioned multiple PTZ control protocols coming from our keyboard. We're gonna start with VSCA over IP. Remember I said that is a really common one, maybe the most common. So I'm gonna begin with this keyboard, which is set to be VSCA over IP. And as you can see from the overhead shot, I have our BC9 camera called up. So I want to demonstrate for you, I can pan it, or tilt, excuse me, down tilt up, I can pan right, pan left, and of course zoom in and zoom out. Very standard Visco over IP controls, and this is working across our Dante AV network. 
The same is true for our Dante AV native camera. He's cam two, same thing. I can tilt up, tilt down, pan left, pan right, zoom in and zoom back out. Very easy, very precise, Visca over IP. We just have two cameras today. It could be a whole lot more than that. Now let me show you infrared over the Dante AV network. Maybe I should have saved the best for last, but I wanted to show it to you now. Now there is a bit of uh, honesty and integrity that I need also to show you, and that is I'm going to let you see me turn the infrared receive off on our D220. So I've brought up the on-screen display and I'm going to go to system. And as you can see right now, IR receive is on. I'm going to set it to off so that you can see when we go back and I use our infrared to control the camera, that is going over the Dante AV network. I know I shouldn't be excited about such a thing as this, but I think this is amazing. Pan, tilt, and of course, zoom. Now, I'm just inches away from the camera, so you might even be wondering, why would this be an important thing? I'm gonna bring this diagram back up so that you can see. Yes, the camera is inches away from me right now, but this camera could be 100, 200 meters away in another location, filming something that's important for me to bring into a remote viewing room, uh, wherever that might be in our network and on our campus. Being able to bring the Dante AV video signal into that room is one special part about the Dante AV network, but what if I need to change what the camera sees, the zoom, where it's panned, how it's tilted? I can do that with this remote over the Dante AV network to bring the picture exactly where I need it to be. It's a remarkable feature and I really love that we have it. Okay, so I've shown you Visca over IP across the Dante AV network. I've even taken an infrared remote controller and sent those PTZ commands across the Dante AV network. And finally, I wanna show you Visca over RS422 serial. Now, I want to point out how this keyboard is connected to the Dante network. I have a single RJ45 cable coming out of the serial port of our keyboard into the RS422 serial input of our D20 decoder. Now, that's the only cable connecting the keyboard to the Dante AV network. It's being powered externally. So, as you can see in our overhead shot, I've got cam one called up, which is our D220, and I will send it pan and tilt and zoom just as easily and just as efficiently as Visca over IP. Now this is important for people who may have a keyboard that doesn't send Visca over IP, only sends Visca over serial. The Dante AV network can handle that. Now, as a little bonus, I want to show you how easy and quick it is to discover cameras over Visca over IP. Now, this network is all being served up from our Netgear M4250 switch. So all of the cameras have IP addresses that the keyboard is also going to be able to discover because it's on the same network. It's a very simple process. I simply press the search button, choose the protocol, in this case, Visca over IP, do I want to start search? Yes, I do. That's a small network, so it takes only a few seconds, and it will discover all of the cameras that I have. In this case, three. So we've already met cameras one and two, but what if that third camera, I want to make cam six? Easy enough. I choose the camera that it found, give it a new ID, ID six. I can even give it a title if I want. In this case, I'm just going to call it camera C10. No special reason for that, just easy to type. I'll accept that change. Choose exit, exit, and exit. One more. Now I have my BC9, I have our D220, 
and I have cam six, which I can control, pan, tilt, and zoom just as before. It really is that easy. So in summary, we've shown Visca over IP and Visca over RS-422 serial easily transmitted across the Dante AV network to Dante AV native cameras and to baseband cameras. So if your camera is capable of receiving Visca either over IP or over serial, the Dante AV network will understand and transmit and receive those commands. This has been a lot of fun to show you. I hope you learned something new. As always, reach out to us if you have any questions. We're here to help. I will see you in the next video.